What's up, everybody? Welcome to another week of 50 Lines or Less. This one's pretty quick. It is a simple web scraper. And what we're going to be scraping today is some NHL statistics. So I'm here on ESPN.com. They've got the statistics of the 2019-2020 regular season uh, NHL point leaders. And so I'm going to be scraping this table data. And then, you know, you could do some kind of analysis or something with it. But today, let's just go through scraping. Okay, so the libraries or the modules that we'll be using are URL lib, URL lib request. We're going to be using, of course, Beautiful Soup, and OS is going to be used at the end when we save the data. So the first thing that I'm going to do is define a function that is going to give me the HTML that I want. So this is what's going to use the Beautiful Soup. Uh, so we're going to define create soup, and what I want to do is just be able to pass the URL that I'm using into this. And I want it to actually go ahead and parse my HTML for me. So uh, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to create um, the page using URL lib dot request. And then we are going to use URL open. We're going to pass into this our URL. And then we're actually going to create the soup using beautiful soup. So soup is equal to Beautiful soup. This is going to take the page and then HTML parser. And then we're going to return that soup, of course. And then that soup is what we're actually going to be using. Um, we're going to go through that and we're going to look for the table rows and the table columns. And then we're going to pull those out. Right? And then we'll save them into a CSV file. Okay. So then what we can say is soup is equal to create soup, and we can just pass in the URL that we have. So the URL, I'm just going to copy it, we'll paste it here. This needs to be a string. <clears throat> okay, so that should give us all of our HTML. Now what we want to do is we want to go through this HTML and we want to find this table. And in HTML, these tables are very often in um, Thing in, in tags called table and T body. And then inside of those, we've got TRs, which are rows. And then inside of each row, we've got TDs, which are columns. And you can see here that there's some rows called column headers, and we're going to ignore those. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through each row. Within each row, we're going to go through all of the TDs. And so what this means is that we need some nested loops. So the first thing I'll do is just kind of uh, create an empty variable here, and then we want to say four um, records in soup.select, and within select, what we want to do is we want to find all of the TRs, but remember, we don't want the column headers, so we're going to say find TRs where the class is not equal to call head, right? Now, within each of those records, uh, within each row, rather, the, the TRs, there was a bunch of TDs, and each TD is a column. And so what we're going to do is um, go through now each column, but we're going to do this per player, and then we're going to collect all of the player data and then add the player to our all data variable here. So um, before we do anything, we'll say player data is equal to empty. This will restart after we write it up into all data. Uh, we'll say for data in um, records dot, uh, let's see, um, find all, and then we want to find all TDs, right? Okay, once we have each TD, now this is each column, we want to say player data is equal to player data plus um, a comma so that they don't all just run into each other and then data dot text. So let me just show you quickly what this is going to pull in. We're going into each row. So 
So for example, on the first row here, we're going into this row and then we're going through each TD and we're pulling out the text. And the text is this one here, uh, the player's name is here, Edmonton is here, right? That's the team and then 71, 73. So we're pulling out the text from each of these. So that's what that is doing. After we do that, we hop out of that loop, we go back into our initial outer loop and we say all data is equal to all data plus, now instead of a comma, what we want to do is for each record, we want a new line. So every time we get a new player or a new record, we want a new line. So we go ahead and put a new line, and then we add in the player data. All right. Okay. That's all good. Last thing that we'll need to do, let's go ahead and print this actually, just so you can make sure that it, it, um, it is working the way that we want it to. So we'll say print uh, all data. Go ahead and save this. We'll run the script here. And there you go, you can see. So here's all of our data, right? Okay, the last thing that we need to do is go ahead and save this. So let's create some headers. The headers are going to be the column heads, um, but we'll just go in here and do this really quick. So we've got the rank, the player, we've got the team, the GP. Okay, I'm just looking at this. Uh, okay, so we've got their rank, we've got uh, player, we've got team, it was games played, and then goals, and then assists, and I believe it was points. What else did we have? Uh, plus minus penalties minutes plus minus penalties and minutes and then it was uh, points per game go ahead and close this so we can see everything <clears throat> points per game uh, shots on goal percentage game winning goals and then power play and shorthanded goals and assists okay so um, points per game, shots on goal, uh, percentage, game winning goals, and then we had our power play goals, power play assists, shorthanded goals, shorthanded assists. Let's just go ahead and make sure that we have everything here. A lot to remember. ourselves some room. Okay, so we've got rank, player, team, GP, G, A, points, plus, minus, penalties, uh, penalties, points per game, shots on goal, percentage, game winning goals, power play goals, power play assist, shorthanded goals, shorthanded assists. Okay, so it looks like we have all the headers that we need. Now let's go ahead and save this. So we're going to say file um, is equal to open. And then we want os.path.expand user. And we're going to call this, um, let's say, NHL leaderboard.csv. And uh, what else do we need to pass in here? Oh, we want to write back. So we'll do wb. And then we're going to say file.write. And we're going to do, for, first we're going to write the headers, and then underneath that we're going to write our actual data. So we want, um, inside of write, we want bytes, and we want to pass headers, and then we want to say encoding, uh, and this will be equal to ASCII, and then the other thing that we need here is errors, I believe, and this is going to be equal to ignore. Okay, so there's our headers that should write those to the CSV. And then the last thing that we need to do is uh, write our data. So it's going to be the same thing, except instead of headers, we want all data. All right, let's go ahead and save that. So you see it write 23 lines, and I believe this will run, and it should spit our file out into this path here. So let's go ahead and come down here. Run it. Okay, it ran all right. Let's make sure our data is here. 
there it is, NHL leaderboard. Let's open it up, see what we got. Okay, there's our data. Oh, I'm already noticing that there's an issue here. We've got an extra column. Uh, it looks like we have everything. So zero, it looks like that zero is in the right spot. What are we missing? Team, C, oh, this should be team. C is the position. Oh, and position doesn't have its own column, but it is probably embedded in a column underneath of player. So, okay, so this is an easy fix. Um, let's go ahead and delete, delete that one. And uh, next to player, we'll say uh, position. We'll save. Okay, let's go ahead and run that again. Now it runs. Here's our new file. Let's make sure this is good. Yeah, now it looks good. Now we're all even, all right? And now you've got your uh, NHL leaderboard. You can go through and uh, run some stats on this, right? And we did all of that. Let's see in 23 lines, <laughs> plenty of lines to spare. And you can see we also have some empty ones here. So we're able to make it look nice. But that is this week's 50 lines or less. If you like that video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I try to do these once a week. I kind of am calling it 50 lines or less Friday, so I try to do it every Friday. Um, maybe next week I'll take the same thing and, and do some kind of um, data visualization or something with it as well. That's big right now. Um, but yeah, if you want to find out more about me, check me out on Twitter. You can also uh, find me on LinkedIn. You can find a lot of my code up on GitHub. You can also find a lot of my academic work on ResearchGate. And of course, you can keep watching me here on YouTube. All right. Till next time, keep coding.